Hello everybody, welcome back to the new World of Warcraft Alpha. New? Well, kinda new. My name is Necroxus. Last time, uh, we did the, uh, the other artifact, whose name I forget. This time we're doing the Healing Monk artifact. Um, I have to give you guys a little bit of a disclosure. I've done this like eight times already, but it's been like a bitch to record and I don't know what the problem is. So, I've switched everything up. I've changed my, uh, streaming software, which might have been doing it. I switched my recording software, which might have been doing it. Hopefully it'll work this time. I just did a test run testing everything, and it worked okay, and it did, so let's hope. So just full disclosure, I've already done this, but I want to show everybody because it's pretty cool. So we're going to be going for Shailun, which is the uh, the Staff of the Mists. And it says, Long ago, the last Pandaren Emperor used the Staff Shailun to shroud all of Pandaria in mists. The Staff has remained at the Terrace of Eternal Spring for generations. When the Legion attacked Pandaria, Shadow Pan defenders rushed to secure the area. They haven't reported back, and we fear the worst. The staff could fall into the wrong hands. So let's begin this. Tell me of your travels. You are more Ah, Shailun, the legendary staff wielded by our last emperor. If the Legion were to acquire this weapon, they could unleash untold horrors across the whole of the continent. They must be stopped. If you want to get to the terrace as fast as possible, you should hitch a ride directly to the mainland. Tak Tak, a Hosen kite master, is skulking around west of the temple. Speak to him without delay. Uh, Tak Tak, interestingly, is... For all of you Horde players that played during Mists of Pandaria in patch 5.1, the landfall quest chain, uh, Tak Tak was the uh, the guy who uh, tra or took you to various areas uh, across the oh, Pandaria for good. that quest, where the Alliance had that dwarf lady. Okie duke, back to Pandaria. This place smell like turtle anyways. And Tak Tak and the, and the dwarf girl used to always like have little conversations with you. Pandaria looking real bad. Ain't seen this much jerb jabbing since that big orc guy duked up the veil. Oh, Garrosh. How you were definitely a character that people either loved or hated. I'm still in the middle, I'm not sure. I'm a bit sad how they ended up treating him, but... He was interesting. He brought interesting dynamic to the story. So here we are in the terrace. I always like seeing new, uh, well, old places we've been to already updated for the current times. So, last time we saw this, it was infested by the Shah of Fear. Luckily, there's now this big-ass... Uh, Poison Elemental named Asperius. Tech Tech says, Oh no, you're too late. Dem Wob Gobblers done dirk the place. So, Legion have already attacked. They really need to get better defense here at this, uh, the Terrace of Endless Springs. This is twice now that this area has been attacked and defiled. I put you down here. Tech Tech, do what he do best. Nothing. And we come to see Terran Zeus here. He says, Bless the Crane, a healer. So, we begin this by healing, by healing Terran Zeus. Which is pretty cool. I really like this, uh, the Legion knows the importance of this sacred place. I personally led the patrol here, but we were ambushed by everyone. I really love... Or ambushed and overcome, excuse me. I really love this uh, artifact... Uh, what's it called? Solo scenario. Because it really teaches you how to heal. I mean, it's it's a little bit harder than a lot of the other ones. You have to know how to heal to be pretty effective. I've failed once or twice at it. Thank you, hero. The sacred waters have already been corrupted. If you were to help me rescue the others, we might be able to reclaim this place. Once again, second time this place has been corrupted. I don't know what the deal is, but there always seems to be issues. I need your healing power, champion. I cannot face this demon alone. So, Terran Zoo is going to run in and aggro the demon. I am going to go free everybody who's been trapped nearby, and then we can help Terran Zoo out. So this is basically like trying to heal a five-man, which is why it's really cool. It's also pretty difficult, at least for the final boss. So first we're going to free, who is this, Hawkmaster Nurong? I am right behind you. And these are all characters, if you play Mists of Pandaria, that you should recognize. And then we're going to free... Oops. Well, first we're going to kill these guys. And then we're going to free... I believe this is Teoshi. I'm with you. Yep, there she is. Meanwhile, Terazu's taking damage, but hopefully he can survive long enough for me to free everybody else. And then this is Lao Softfoot, who doesn't say anything, because Lao Softfoot never says anything. And then finally, we are going to free... Uh -uh. Fei Li, known as the Firecracker. So now, what we're doing is basically just healing everybody until they can kill the boss. Which is why it's pretty cool. So your job is to just keep everyone alive. Also keep myself alive, because I just realized how low of health I am. And we're also dealing with the... the I mean, it, it, there is mechanics to this, which is why it's pretty cool. So let's try to keep everyone else alive. Hawkmaster Neurong's falling a little bit low. Terran Zoo is tanking it up in the middle. 
I should probably stand by Fei Li because she has a uh, an aura that increases my mana regeneration. So. So yeah, now we just keep doing this, and then he begins doing an AoE, which makes it a little bit more difficult, because everyone starts taking quite a bit of damage. And frickin' Hawkmaster Neuron is way over in the corner like an idiot. Let's actually put a... Life of Cocoon, or whatever that's called on him. Shit, shit! Oh, Fei Li has such low health! She dies so quickly. Kayoshi, don't you die on me, girl! Once again, you're one of my favorite secondary characters. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Fei Li. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't die, Fei Li. Okay, are we all doing good? We're all doing good. Whew. There we go. So, speak with each of the Shadow Pan to coordinate your attack on the Corrupted Terrace. Begone, beast! Your shameful crusade ends here. So like I said, this is fun. It's also quite stressful, especially the next part. Come, that monster has already spread his corruption to the waters above. We must act quickly. I'm gonna heal up Terran Zoo because he has not healed up yet. There we go. Now I can go. We must work together, champion. We will follow your lead. How do you wish to deploy the Shadow Pan? So now we get to talk to everybody, um, and well, not Terran Zoo, but the other three, and basically say, hey. Do you want to um, try to uh, focus on survival, which means, obviously, they'll survive a little bit longer. Or you can make them go all out, which means I believe they do 25% more damage, um, but they take 20, but they take 25% more damage as well. So, uh, Fei Li. Light. Thank you, Monk, for coming to our aid. I am Fei Li, and I have a reputation among the Shadow Pan for setting things on fire, usually our enemies, sometimes our monastery. Lord Terranzu isn't too pleased with me at the moment. Help me get back into his good graces. If you can keep me on my feet, I will be able to break Asperius's ice walls and bring him to a boil. Stand near me and my brilliant aura will destroy your manor. Fei Li grins savagely. Do you want me to really light things up or should I concentrate on keeping myself alive? Um, Fei Li, every time I've done this before, tends to die a lot. So I'm going to say concentrate uh -huh. on staying alive. We make a great team. Uh, here's Teoshi. Are you here to fight? Thank you for your well-timed rescue, Monk. We could have used your help in the Pandaren campaign. My name is Teoshi, the Silent Blade of the Shadow Pan. I slip unseen through enemy territory and strike where they are the weakest. I'll do my part. While Terranzu holds that thing's attention, I will stalk it from behind and bury my daggers in any weak spots. I can also help you move quickly around the battlefield, stand near me, and gain charges of roll, cheat torpedo, and mist walk abilities. How aggressive do you want me to be? I could throw caution to the wind and wage an all-out assault, but I'll need you to have my back. I need you to know you'll have my back. Yes. I want Teoshi actually to do as much damage as she can. Yeah, so she, 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 she does and takes 25% more damage. And Hawkmaster Neuron. Welcome. Hello, Monk. It's good to have the healer on our side. We are the Shadow Pan, the last defense of Pandaria. I am Hawkmaster Neuron, master of the Wukao discipline. We are the eyes of the Shadow Pan, the scouts that make our enemies fear the darkness. Now to business. I will assault Asperius at range while my hawk white feather swoops in to harass him with beak and claw. Stand near me and I will help you attack faster. I could go for an all-out attack, but it would put myself at risk. How aggressive should I be? Um, I'm going to say he should be aggressive Ready as well. When you are. And then now we speak with uh, Terran Zhu to begin. And I'm going to focus on Fei Li because she tends to die a lot. Also, I want to stand near her because I always run out of mana on this fight um, at the very end. So here we go. The Shadow Pan will come you. Your plan is solid, Necroxus. Of course, your success de our success depends on your ability to keep us all alive. For my part, I will try to hold the creature's attention and absorb the brunt of its fury. Let me know when you are ready, and I will give the order to begin the assault. All right, here we go. Stay focused. Let keep us your begin. Passions in check. Ha. Stand near Fei Li. And here we go. Keep everyone alive. Switch to my healing bars. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Already, we're doing badly. Oh my gosh, you guys. My recording is getting bad again. I don't know what the problem is. 
Go, go, go! Terran Zoo, stay alive! He's such low on health. God, he just so much, takes so much damage here! Shit. Teyoshi, you're not allowed to die on me, girl. Not allowed to die on me, girl. Oh, crap. Oh, I keep getting bumped up by these stupid whirlwinds. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're doing okay. Teyoshi's taking damage. Oh, shit. This is why I don't heal everybody. <laughs> it's too stressful for me. I just can't do it. Okay, everyone's looking okay. We're looking okay now. Teoshi's getting, or Feili's getting drowned again. These stupid little guys keep popping out and tar targeting me. Get wrecked. There we go. Okay. Let's go back to Terran Zoo. I keep standing in goop, which is not a good idea. I am running out of mana quickly. I need to get to Teoshi, or Feili. Terran Zoo, stay alive, you punk. Revivify! Whatever that's called. We did it! We're so close! We're so close! Ah! We done did it. Everyone's alive. That's better than most of the times when I do this. It is done! You have done a great service for Pandaria on this day. Let's keep everyone alive, though. But there it is, the staff of our last emperor. You have proven yourself worthy to wield it, friend of the Shadow Pan. Okay, cool. Here we go. Let's clear our focus. And get... Woohoo! Shailu and Staff of the Mists! And there we go, now we get to leave. 10,000 years ago, Emperor Shao Hao used that very staff to cloak our land in a veil of mists, hiding the rest of Pandaria from the Burning Legion. But this time, the Pandaren will not hide away! We will choose to fight! Turn the Emperor's staff against the Legion, champion. We will be right behind you. Yay! Thanks, everybody. Now we can leave. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Back to Turtle. This place too wet anyways. Oh, Tech Tech. I don't know what your problem is, but you just hate everything. Why did it show everyone dead? Alright. Just let it be known they were alive when I left, so... If they died, it's their fault. <laughs> We're flying back to the temple so we can report in that we got the staff. Used by Shao Hao, the last emperor of Pandaria, to cloak the continent in mists. My equip effect is when you allies, Shay Lun has a chance to draw in nearby mists, increasing your healing over time effects by 20% for 10 seconds. When this effect ends, Shay Lun will release a wave of healing mists that heals all allies within 15 yards for 14,000 health. What wisdom do you Incredible! See? The very staff the Emperor used to cloak Pandaria in the mist all those ages ago. Treat that staff well, Necrox, and it will save your life, and probably the lives of all of your friends as well. May the Red Crane live forever. Grand Master, we have discovered a new technique heart. that will allow us, or allow one with great focus to sh with, oh my goodness, let's start again. <laughs> Grand Master, we have discovered a new technique that allows one with great focus to reshape chi within magical objects. This technique should allow you to improve your weapon's capabilities uh, more um, uh, considerably. The technique uh, requires a great deal of focus, so we are limited only to a single upgrade for now, but that will have to do. Ignore the May fact that I messed that whole sentence up. In your passion. Is trouble brewing? I am honored to it fights your side at the peak of serenity, Necroxus. Your leadership will help us greatly in this fight against the Legion. I would like to fight for you. If you would have me as a champion, I believe my skills as a brewer may also be of service to the Order. Come back with some support. Oh. I believe my brewing skills could help our order's efforts against the Legion. How? I don't know. I will go to work at once, Necroxus. And then Lily. Oh, uh, uh-huh. You know, I've been thinking about all the fun we've had together. You're great to hang around, and I'm sure Uncle Chen wouldn't mind if I stuck around since you're a Grand Master and all. What I'm trying to say is I'd be happy to be your explorer, scout, or resident adventurer. So, what do you say? All right. Let's go. Sweet. So, here we are. Now we can get our one, our new ability. This is Shailun's gift. It's, uh... Draws from the mists within Shailun and heals a friendly target for 52,000 health. Which is pretty cool. It's a, uh, it's a nifty, pretty decent heal that is not uh, that does not require mana. So, that's why it's useful. Alright. 
Until then, we're pretty much all done now. You have the eyes of one who has traveled much. This weapon is truly amazing, yet much of its potential remains untapped. If we are to end the threat of the Burning Legion once and for all, we will need to fully unlock its power. And then we have to go speak to Master Who to begin Friends our adventure. So, These that is it. The Shailun Staff of the Mists. Um, it is pretty nifty. Let's take a look at some of our passives. We get... When you use Revival, and Revival, by the way, is your basic Mega Heal that heals the whole raid and also dispels all of the bad stuff on them. When you use Revival, the Spirit of Yulon appears and grants all allies healed by Revival an additional 30% of the amount of Revival healed over 6 seconds. So, makes Revival even better. They got Shaohao's Mist of Wisdom. Casting Renew in Mist or Enveloping Mist has a chance to cause your staff to create the Mists of Wisdom that will heal a nearby ally with the powers of the Mist every 2 seconds for 10 seconds. And finally, Celestial Breath. When you activate Thunder Focus T, you exhale the Breath of Yulon, healing all allies within 12 yards for a lot of health. So there we go. That is the Mistweaver Artifact, Shailun Staff of the Mist. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for more Legion uh, content coming up in the alpha. But until then, thanks for watching, and yeah, farewell.